everybody, my name is Agent Psycho, and this is going to be the third episode of the uh, chapter number 64, uh, 5, I want to say. I'm the one that's again, I'm kind of confused on the chapters here. Um, so yeah, this is going to be chapter number 3, or, t what am I talking about? Episode number 3 of chapter number 65, featuring me, Agent Psycho, aka Toast number 98. And this time we're going to be taking a look at the MG34. This is the, in real life, this was the uh, predecessor to the MG42 before it was phased out when the MG42 was uh, fully, was brought to full production uh, during World War II and, you know, for Nazi Germany and uh, during that time era and during that war. And um, surprisingly enough, um, I didn't understand why Nexon did this, but uh, it seems like you have to forge the MK48 in order to obtain the MG34, which is kind of strange, because it would make sense that if you could forge the MG42 into the MG34, but I mean, Nexon can do whatever it wants, they don't really need to make sense all the time. Uh, but the reason why I didn't use, I didn't do the MG34 review on the uh, MK48 family, which would be normally be what I would do, um... I decided to just uh, hold off on the review on the MG34 until I could actually reach the MG42 family of reviews because you know they're they're rel they're relatives technically speaking and um, it wouldn't really make sense for me to just slant this into with the uh, MK48 chat because you know it, it, I don't know I just don't feel like I j I just feel like if I do that not only will it not be very appropriate uh, in terms of its video context but also I feel like I'm not gonna be uh, you know doing the MG34 justice if I would to if I were to take it out of its own family. So anyways, um, the MG34, this is the forgeable variant of the MK48 once again, and um, it is, even though it's technically the uh, a variant of the MG42, and um, yeah, because it is a forgeable variant, you must use 7 fusion pallets with the uh, MK48. Surprisingly enough, you actually need to use fusion pallets instead of the uh, replica pallets, so um, good luck getting those <laughs> if, you guys don't have enough, if you guys don't have a lot of it. So, let's look at its stats here. The MG34 deals a very high 48 damage. It, just right off the bat, that's a huge improvement over the original MG42. I mean, even though it's no MG42 uh, steel, it's only one point uh, weaker. So, that's even though that point of damage will be helpful, I mean, if you think about it, it's still a really big um, improvement in terms of damage over the original MG34. I mean, it's still, seven point, it's still a 7 point de uh, difference, so that's really good. Portability wise, MG34 is surprisingly a lot more portable than even the MG42 Steel at 42 portability. That's almost unheard of. I don't even know if I recall any other uh, machine gun which has this high of a portability. I'm, I'm sure there are, but uh, um, for, anyways, it just uh, compared to the MG42 and the MG42 anyway, uh, or the MG42 Steel anyway, it it see it seems very very fast compared to those two. I mean, it's, for God's sake, it's six mo points more uh, more uh, it's six points more portable than the freaking more than most overpowered uh, machine in the freaking game so there you go rate of fire rate of fire is at a high 80 it's no mg42 or mg42 steel ones again because those machine guns have a crazy 82 but um the mg34 does fire pretty fast at 80 i don't really know how this uh pairs up with other machine guns in the machine gun rate of fire spectrum but in my eyes anyway it fires pretty fast Accuracy. The accuracy has been increased from the original MD42 from uh, 57 to 61. So um, it's one point less accurate than the MG42 steel, which I believe. Had oh no, actually, it's three points less accurate than the MG42 steel uh, from uh, at 61. So um, yeah. Uh, as for its bullet accuracy, um, the MG434 does indeed have a better bullet spread and better bullet predictability than the uh, MG42. However, it's no MG42 steel at the same time, so you may want to be careful about your shots. Just don't go... I mean, you can do, you can afford to go full auto more more often than you would be able to with the MG42, but do keep in mind, though, that you, will, you are bound to uh, get high recoil with it and um, start having some of your bullets go off center or go off target uh, very quickly, so do be, do be careful of that. As for its recoil, the recoil has been reduced from 74 all the way down to 71. This is even less recoil than the MG42 steel. So, yeah, this uh, in additional decreased point, uh, point of uh, recoil reduction means that the MG34 has slightly lower recoil spread and kickback than does the uh, MG42 steel. So that always helps. And, um, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the MG34, even its character, even like what how it looks like, and its reload animation and all, are um, are pretty similar to MG42. However, there is one thing that I would like to highly emphasize, and that is that the MG34 has a very fast reload speed, even though for a machine gun. Like I've I've, I've mentioned before, that you know the MG42 steel, the MG34, or MG42, right? Sorry, and uh, uh, their reload speeds are pretty comparable to like other machine guns, like the M60 and the uh, the uh, what is it called? The M60, MK48, whatever, what you would call it. MG34, that's a whole different, that has a whole nother story. It shaves an entire second or two off your reload speed. That's really fucking fast. And that's one of the main advantages that I feel like the MG34 has over all, not only its variant, other variants and its own family, but also other machine guns. Because I'm pretty sure uh, its reload speed is is as fast now, uh, like on par with like those round drum barrel uh, machine guns. Like the ones that you don't, really don't have to pull out belt. A belt mag, a belt of bullets for you know to reload it. It's just like all in a convenient, um, what is it called? Like a box magazine or um, or a uh, or one of those round drum barrel magazines. So um, yeah, the reload speed is exceptionally good on the MG34. That's one of the main reasons why the MG34 is pretty damn good. And um, yeah, I believe also it has a faster draw speed than the MG42s as well. So um, that's that's always good because I mean one of the main problems with machine guns, as you guys probably know, is that you know it, it just takes a long a lot of time comparatively to other machine to other weapons to just take them out of your bag. However, the MG34 uh, has a relatively quick um, draw speed so you can definitely uh, using the MG34 or because of that the MG34 is a much f more friendly machine gun for like rushers and um, those kinds of people who are who like to use the MG34 not not entirely in a defensive manner but in positions where they know they, they will be attacked uh, with their pants down sometime sometime so um, yeah the MG34 does shoot, um, serve those people well um, as for other things I could talk about, I believe that's it for the uh, major changes to the, uh, that the MG34 offers over the other MG42 variants. Um... Just for a few bits of trivia, the MG34 was released re uh, very recently, I think like a couple of months back, for permanent purchase for 12, uh, 120,000 K, uh, or 120,000, yes, uh, 120,000 K would be like, like what, what, a million or something like that? Um, it was released for permanent purchase sale uh, for that much of that much GP, 1200, or 120 K GP. So um, yeah, it was a lot more expensive than was, than was other uh, GP perms that Nexon had released in the past. But uh, I do believe it was definitely worth it because it's the first forgeable weapon that they've actually sold for GP. Like I know they've sold like the Psycho 20 KCB cam or something like that, and the uh, the what was it again? The SG556 Mark II uh, for perm, and those were technically the first forgeable variants or guns from the Gun Emporium that were able to be for, uh, sold for permanent. But um, the MG42 I think is actually one of the uh, f first, if not the first, uh, weapon that you, you actually you actually you actually had to use the fusion pallets in order to forge and then you could buy it for uh you know that you could buy for perm so um yeah that's just a little bit of interesting trivia there and um, now because of that sale um lots of people do have the mg34 now uh, just as a spare backup machine gun and because of that i've been seeing at, at least for the month or so after the uh after nexon released the mg34 for perm um i started noticing that a lot of other people were starting to use mg34 because you know they had bought it for perm and i was really glad because mg34 is an extremely good machine gun just like it's just like the mg42 steel but um overall i would still consider the MG42 steel better than the MG34 just because of the fact that it seems like its damage draw, uh, profile is much better than the MG34. Um, it's not that much better, it's still, but it's I, in my opinion anyway, it feels noticeably better. So uh, I would stick with, I, I, personally speaking, I would stick to my uh, MG42 steel, but the MG34 isn't that far off. So, um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, guys. This has been a review on the MG34. If you guys missed the uh, perm sale that Nexon had uh, when they were selling the MG34 for permanent uh, purchase for, I think, 120,000 GP, then you definitely did miss out. I'm sorry, but, uh, I mean... <sighs> You definitely missed out. It, it, this machine gun is a very exceptional machine gun. Not as good as MG42 steel, but only just. So, um, yeah. You can still get it by uh, fusing the uh, MG48 with the uh, what, 7 fusion pallets and obtaining it that way. But um, I think it would have been a lot easier just just straight up buy for perm. I mean, you have it in your inbox forever anyway, so why not? Anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching this review on the uh, MG34. And I will see you guys later. You can shit it